To be a college-bound student means to be completely prepared and ready for the challenges and obstacles it will take to go to college and complete it. It also means to have complete determination and to never give up. No matter how hard the journey is, you have to remember to keep your eyes on the prize. What, <clears throat> what keeps me going is my motivation to be the first in my family to graduate from college to make myself and family proud, as well as to serve as an example for my younger brother and cousin. I never realized that I had to go to college. It was an expectation for my parents and the reason why they came to the U.S. Going to college is definitely one of my main goals in life because I want to have a good education and be successful in life. We all have things to live for. We have dreams, we have aspirations, and we have goals. Sixteen years ago, my parents worked very hard to come to America just so my sister and I could have a better life. I do not want to have worries about financial security like my parents have. I want to have a better life and I want my children to be raised without want. After visiting the college campus, I know that I had the desire for my education and strive for something meaningful. I want to show my brother and cousins that even in death adversity we can still overcome. That we can triumph in a society where we are pretty general as without actually being known. For example, Dad's boss has a silly idea that my cousin and I will end up working for him no matter how we try. Just because of our heritage. Although I cannot see my future, I know if I remain optimistic, work hard, and stay organized, I will be able to achieve. I know now that in order to distinguish myself in society, I must take advantage of all educational opportunities. Education is key to success, success is key to achievement, and achievement is key to unlock doors to your future. To be a college-bound student, you must learn to stay focused. You need to make sacrifices and know what is best for you. When you have a quiz the next day and your friends are all out playing, you need to know to tell yourself, no, I need to stay back to study. It's not easy to always be a good student, but you have to put your best efforts and know that there's always room for improvement. Everyone makes mistakes now and then, but you're only foolish if you don't stop to think about what you did. I got back in track and studied, and studied for my finals, but I did not do as well as I hoped. I guess everything but math, I, <clears throat> it got the best of me. This year wasn't an easy year for me. As we all know, it is a really big shift from eighth grade to freshman year. Teachers will be difficult. Upperclassmen will be mean to you. They will pick on you. Classes will be hard to pass. You will be sad and you will be happy. But most importantly, you need to know that you will be okay. You have to believe in yourself because if you can't, then who will? Whether it's a family member, a first graduate staff, or a fellow peer, there has to be someone who cares for you. And that's why you've come this far. I have learned many things that have helped me grow as a person and helped me prepare for my future as a college candidate. I learned that every year, every class, every grade matters, no matter what. Colleges also want to know what makes you special as a person. Why should they choose you to attend their school? What makes you different from all those other thousands of applicants that also get good grades? What can you offer to the school? have a great attitude to our people, but as much as it seems that attitude does not matter for your future, it actually does. I stepped outside of my cubicle to see what society was putting in front of me and saying, here's this class, make the most of it. I volunteer my own middle school, but I hope you have the front desk with paperwork and phone calls. I also hope students with their work and help out of our music, music department. I'm also going to be a peer counselor, which is a big deal for me because I like helping people out, especially my friends. Like everyone, I'm not perfect, and there are places I can improve on. Academically, I'm persistent and never back down. I may struggle, but I fight through it. I will stay after school to do all of my work, and if they keep me out from being there too long, I will just go to the library and work on my work. I want to apply to a school that has study abroad programs, because one of my dreams is to travel, and so I'd like to go to Brazil. I initially wanted to go to a small school, but the more I think about it, the more accepting I am of a bigger school. And to be honest, college seems pretty far, yet pretty close. <laughs> I'm scared and nervous, yet excited and looking forward to it. I'm scared of getting homesick, rejected from the colleges I applied to, or not having the money to afford it. I'm nervous about the workload, my future ruining, or for not knowing what to expect. On the other hand, I'm excited to develop and uphold my adult life. Even though there are so many obstacles to face, I am looking forward to a new world full of adventures and fulfilling opportunities. I'd like to work in animation. 
In the past year, I have made commitments to first graduate with City Arts and Tech, my current high school, and my summer internship with California Arts for the Arts. I want to set an example to other youth to see that everyone has a struggle, but yet you can still get into college. 